everybody, it's the Game Colonel. Let's go take a look at an asteroid station. I'm currently flying in the Commander's Update 2.3, the beta. It's been out for a couple weeks. I wanted to go visit one of these asteroid stations. This is something I've looked forward to for quite a while, and from the comments I've seen out there, a lot of people have too. Let's go. We're about a couple clicks out uh, from uh, the station. Let's go ahead and approach it, take a look at it. Uh, it's called Freehome Station. It's in the Artemis system. It's, like I said, it's an asteroid base. Right now it's uh, Empire controlled. Boo, boo, boo. But um, who knows? There's also quite a few of these out uh, in the habit inhabited space in the bubble. And there's also some that have been uh, reported outside of the bubble. I've looked at one other. Uh, I don't have the name written down here, but it was a, pretty much a, a, an exact identical copy of what we're going to see here. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't discover any other ones. I didn't want to um, search around for too long. I wanted to put this out here just to show you the detail that Frontier uh, has put into creating these. Um, realism for them is key, and it definitely shows in the creation of this asteroid. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly around the outside of it here, pretty much uh, do a 360 around it. Using my head tracking software, I'm going to kind of just give you a view out the, the uh, top of the cockpit as, as I rotate around this asteroid here. I've gotten some uh, comments on my videos that uh, my head tracking software is uh, kind of disconcerting. It, it, it kind of throws people off a little bit here. Hopefully that's not the case. I've tried to smooth out the, the motions there, but uh, sometimes I forget when I'm operating the controls of the ship. I'm looking left and right as it's kind of designed to do. But hopefully it, uh, it, it, it's not as uh, pronounced uh, this time. Anyway, I'm going to rotate down there. Just gave them a heads up. I want to dock. So I've got cleared to approach pad 2-2. Looks like I have an orca lining here. Uh, excuse me, an orca liner coming up ahead here. Let's go get a little bit closer to this thing here. It's always nice uh, getting in the pattern with these bigger ships here. I'm flying the ASP, so there is quite a bit of a size difference. But again, uh, you know, it's nice to see the details of the ships, especially the large liners, and also it, it provides you not only a sense of scale, but of perspective motion here. So it's kind of nice. Uh, let's pull in behind this thing here. Look at it. Man, I love that sound of the engines. All right, in through the mail slot, piece of cake. All right, what you see in this asteroid base is pretty much the same thing you're going to see in any other base. However, the big difference is it's inside of a gigantic rock. All right, so most of this stuff is laid on top, but you can see they're still constructing it, so it's above and below the sur inner surface of the asteroid. Colors are looking good. This is a, uh, a mining, uh, kind of a smelting, uh, station. So you'll see um, a lot of the same components you would see in other stations, just laid out a little bit differently. The flashing blue lights, uh, I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure are welders that are still working on equipment uh, since they're building this station, getting it set up. You can see the, uh, the scaffolding they've got. We're just passing the threshold to the aft end of the asteroid where they're still doing either mining or just kind of strengthening the, uh, providing more room. There's a few girders there, some electrical cabling so and I love the detail from the surface rock to uh, whoop. oh we got a little little glitch there let's see let's back this up back this thing up all right yeah I think it's related to distance distance surface distance because nothing else goes out of uh, focus like the uh, girdering or anything like that. So I think it's just a glitch. May have to report that one as part of the beta reporting process. Anyway, like I said, uh, a lot of good, great detail. See the um, ceiling or wall struts, support beams. And we go into the main part of the asteroid base here again. We're going to approach pad number 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, uh, most of the stuff here, if I'm not mistaken, is, is repetitive to other stations. But um, overall, not bad. 
All right, starting to approach pad 2-2. Two, two. Just flip it in here from above. Setting it down nice and easy. Again, I love the technique and the, the, the textures and how they set. For example, this lighting pad, which you can still see is under construction on the uh, down in the surface and within the surface, uh, within the structure of the asteroid. Looks pretty good. See a little bit of fuzzing on the asteroid surface there. Again, I think it's just a proximity glitch with the graphics. So we'll work that out. But again, hopefully you like this. I just wanted to kind of give a quick video on what these asteroid stations are like. There's other different types out there. This will be a great uh, opportunity for a lot of folks to go out there and try to find them and set up new home bases, different locations. But again, this has been the Game Colonel. I really appreciate your comments. Give a thumbs up, and of course, send me your comments. I try to answer each and every one of them. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Have a great day.